So let's just see for a moment what actually happens when you're actually in fibrillation. This is a human heart. And what you see, it's quivering. That metal piece right there is the wire. That's the lead of the defibrillator inside the heart. And eventually what you see is the heart get defibrillated. We're going to see this again. It's fibrillating. That's the lead. It got shocked. And you can no notice now restoration of a normal beat. This is what works. This is what saves lives. So you may wonder, OK, talked about pacemakers, talked about defibrillators. How do these things go in? Well, they go in in a similar fashion. What happens is that I make a small incision underneath the left collarbone, place the device underneath there, under the skin. One to three wires comes out of the device and gets placed into a blood vessel that sits underneath the collarbone called a subclavian vein. And that's the road into the heart. Now, in this case, this is a pacemaker. So if the heart starts slowing down abnormally, the pacemaker recognizes that and starts sending impulses to get the heart rate back up again. This is done within an hour and usually requires only mild sedation to do. And you're home either the same day or the next morning. So it's not a big procedure.